Hello there, it's Adrian Abel here from Abel Property and I'm sitting with Kyle Peters from our Cottesloe office and I wanted to unpack a few questions for you, sure. uh, Kyle. Tell me, you've been in the business a long time now, how have you seen the marketing trends change with uh, marketing property? It's been pretty significant to say the least, Adrian. Mm -hmm. um, since starting in Sydney in 2001, um, that was just before the internet actually yeah. came into wow. real estate. So. I've seen a hell of a lot of change and it's been really interesting staying ahead of the curve as well in terms of um, you know, just making sure that you've got that essential marketing mix. So you've got to have these days, we know the internet is, it's got massive reach and frequency, but certainly I think a nice mix of printed as well as maybe some, some targeted mm -hmm. um, marketing via um, email, databasing um, and general sort of contacts. It's important to be part of the community and within that we meet a lot of people who are looking to be serviced now in the future, so it's a real opportunity. You mentioned a word that I'm interested in there, database. How, how does that really help a seller uh, if you're building a database? Well, I think it just um, it brings a selection of qualified and known people, people that already know and like you, to the mix. Um, it's, not, it's an essential part of it, but it's not one strategy just to be relied on. No, absolutely. But it does get you some real traction early in, in the marketing piece if you have a database of buyers that you can introduce to a property. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And, and you can potentially sell off the database if they don't want to uh, go hard to market. But that's a whole different conversation. We'll catch you on that in the next one. Thank you. And I, know you have an, I know you have an opinion on that too. I have a very, very strong, positive <laughs> opinion on that. Kyle Peters, Able Property, Cottesloe. Thank you.